Hello, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. I've been forgetting what month we, we, we've been in for, for um, the last few days. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. Yeah. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that uh, kind of prefer to see me shuffle. Um, okay. I'm just going to take these in. So cancer, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person you didn't vote here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by saying that you're both in the same place. You're both in very similar places. As you can see, we've got the fire full of uh, swords. You're both processing, both processing, both digesting. Um, just trying to balance your thinking around this connection, around this relationship. I will say, though, that this person is a bit more further along the game than you are, only in the sense of them having that hermit card, which represents just deeper insight um, into whatever it is that they're processing. For you, there is love there. To some degree, there's love there. But there's just an indecisiveness around whether you want to or could even uh, birth something with this person, create something with this person, you know, have a life, get married, have kids, that type of thing. You're just not really sure whether this is someone that you're able to do that with for whatever reason. This is someone that you might have known for a while as well, been in this relationship for a while. Maybe you've kind of outgrown each other. Maybe at one point you actually thought you could have that. And things have changed because we do have that king, which represents, you know, having built something, you've established something with this person. But again, we're now processing um, it because you might, you know, there is this feeling of wanting to walk away from this. And I don't feel like it's due to lack of emotions. I feel like it's more than that. Um... Yeah, and this person, like I said, is doing the same. They're just a bit more further along the game than you are, simply because they're asking those, they have, they've got deeper insight, they're asking deeper questions, maybe, um, but they're also receiving insight, receiving insight into what they could possibly do or having just the level of belief that they can actually make it on their own. It could simply be that. It might be simply because you guys have been together for a while. It's been a long-term relationship and it's just, you know, maybe you've outgrown each other and you'll, you're just finding it difficult to accept the changes, acknowledge the changes even. I'm not sure whether you guys have even communicated um, this to each other. But they are also, with that insight, they're going through this, just this feeling of loss, which they're not sharing with you. They're not sharing with you. Um, yeah, they've already started to receive just ideas or What's that? Ideas or, um, yeah, ideas of what it could be like without you, what life can be like, and not in a bad way. Just, you know, when you end something, you know, you want to have a picture of what it could be like next, in my next chapter, in my next journey. Seems like they've already started to get that feeling or that idea of what that could be like. Like I said, they're a bit more further along the game than you are, simply because they're, uh, they've got the hermit, which talks about Deep, you know, asking this up those deep questions, having deep insight. Um, yeah. You're focusing on, this is either work or put in work and or put in work into this relationship, into this connection. Um, 
again, you're both kind of mirroring each other. You're, you're thinking in a reckless way. This person is confused. There's confusion there for them. Like I said, it makes sense. Um, but they're showing up as being confused, both thinking in a reckless way, because I feel like you're both finding it very difficult to um, end this relationship. To end this relationship, maybe due to the fact that at one point it was really meaningful. Maybe you guys supported each other at, you know, you met each other at a certain point in your life and, you know, it was, you supported each other in whatever. And now you've kind of outgrown that situation. You've moved along the journey, you've outgrown the situation. You're finding it quite difficult to just part ways or realize that this is no longer beneficial or working for both of us because you're both mirroring each other. You're both feeling the same. You're both processing things the same. Or again, there's a difference there, but it, it you know, it, it, you're both kind of thinking the same. You're both thinking the same, but you're not ready to admit it or to take action on it. You know, you're thinking recklessly. Uh, so, so are they. So, you know, there's a lot of stress as well. Panic. That could be coming from panic as well. Because you don't want to end this because ultimately we've got that three of wands before that ten of pentacles. It's like, you know, you're not going to get that with this person. You know, so why can't I just let go of this? So what you're doing is, is you're, you know, giving small gestures or making small gestures of emotion and stuff like that. What you can give, what you feel, yeah, you can give. Lack of clarity. I feel like that queen is more about deep down knowing that this person also maybe don't want to uh, continue in this relationship. Just like you and that might panic you a bit as well. But um, yeah, this person's clinging on as well. They're clinging on. Although they're wanting an opportunity to start something new, but they know it's not going to happen within this relationship. So again, we're going through this feeling of loss. But that feeling of loss is creating a burden, uh, knowing, getting insight, realizing that they can't heal this, this can't be fixed. Like I said, it's both mirroring each other. It's not you wanting to end this and they don't. It's not them wanting to end it and you don't. It's you both are on the same page. You're just finding it difficult to do that. Def just finding it. Maybe you're just at the point where you're starting to, like I said, there's reflecting. You're both reflecting. You're both processing. So maybe you're just at the point where you're starting to wake up to and both of you this is to the fact that okay we're no longer going to continue this but we just needed to go through whatever in order for us to both get to a point where we're saying okay enough enough is enough now you know thank you very much for you know coming into a, a, my life at this point and you know I value that I appreciate that it's meaningful to me but right now I'm ready to enter into a new journey and a new chapter and not with you in that way. We could still have a, some form of relationship, but not in that way. Again, this is for both of you. You're mirroring each other. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. Like I said, uh, give me uh, two weeks, guys, and I'll be implementing the part two of the reading. So just look out for that. But hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.